Hey, what's up everyone? It's Damien from English Mimics and in this video, I'm gonna flip through an English magazine to see if I can find a short article or something that can help us learn new words and useful expressions. Remember, reading is the basic means of vocabulary growth and people who read widely gradually build up extensive vocabularies, especially if they have a curiosity about words. Um, all right, let's see what they have here. How about this one? The title says, How to avoid coffee confusion. It seems interesting. But before we read the article, I want you to take a closer look at the glossary of words used in the article. So, feel free to pause and check them out with a dictionary. Now, let's read the article together. What type of coffee do you like? Decaf coffee? Instant coffee? How about a frappuccino? Mocha? Or macchiato? Not sure what those last three things are? Don't worry, you are not alone. There are different types of coffee available at Starbucks. And according to some recent research, many people find the coffee names very confusing. So Debenhams, a chain of department stores, has decided to simplify things for coffee drinkers. The new menu in its coffee shops uses easy-to-understand descriptions for each of its coffees. So, normal coffee is called simple coffee, with or without milk. A latte is called really, really milky coffee. A cappuccino is frothy coffee. And cafe mocha is chocolate-flavored coffee. So, what do you call a decaf coffee, then? Coffee without coffee? Yeah, that's an interesting question. All right, that brings us to the end of this episode. Please comment below and let me know if it's a good idea to change and simplify the names of popular coffee drinks. Until next time, thanks for stopping by and watching this video.